What is up you guys? Welcome back to another video. Today we are starting the video off on a bad note because my precious beloved M4 was returned from a trip damaged. Let's take a look at this. So right here we got the side mirror scuffed up. Not bad, it's just a scuff mark, but then boom! cracked side mirror not only that the housing is damaged so it won't even pop back into place it won't come this way hopefully i can get the housing off and uh clip it back in place correctly so it can move again um then on this side this side mirror is damaged as well Just scuff here not only that okay at first i thought it was just the side mirrors i, I was like whatever side mirrors not that big of a deal that broken side mirror but no there's more my baby the body was dented look from this angle oh my gosh why why so i just took her to the body shop to get an estimate for the repairs and I'm just a little worried because I think I might be fucked here. Mm, a little fucked. Luckily, the damage isn't like insane. Uh, I wanted to get carbon fiber side mirrors anyway, so this is an excuse to do that. The broken mirror, I found a replacement on eBay for like 100 bucks. And just the main thing is the dent. Hopefully, they can pull the dent without having to resurface it, coat paint it, and all that. Maybe like a paintless dent removal. Anyways, the reason why we might be fucked though is because Turo gives you a variety of insurance options with different deductibles and it de and they take a different amount of your trip earnings depending on the deductible you choose and whatnot so all of last year i had the 75 25 percent plan where they took 25 percent of all my earnings and the deductible is only 250. i over the course of like the whole year and all of my earnings i calculated that they took seven grand a little over seven grand from my total trip earnings which was a fucking lot um and i didn't even have to use their insurance so this year i was like whatever i want to keep more of my earnings so i changed it to the 90 10 plan where they only take 10 percent of my earnings but that made the deductible twenty five hundred dollars now this job is not going to be over twenty five hundred dollars and the the turo uh renter he selected a insurance coverage on his end um the standard coverage where he only has to pay maximum 500 dollars out of pocket so however much the damage is say uh, say so however much the damage is he only needs to pay 500. so since we're in this little bind where he only has to pay 500 my deductible is 2500 i can only get 500 out of him so hopefully this damage is not more than 500 to repair that's the that's the situation I find myself in right now, and um, I feel like my life is just constantly putting out fires. I'm basically a firefighter. That's all I do is put out fires, put out fires, put out fires. Just always some shit happening, and uh, we just gotta fix it. Can't do anything. You can't do anything but fix it. What are you gonna do? Cry about it? Anyways, I'll get back to you on that. I think I might do a whole video just based around the Turo business and my experience with Turo and my cars and if I think it's a good idea or not and actual numbers so if you guys are interested in that leave a comment all right now we're here at the tire spot because we're having some more car problems with Maritza's car nothing major just uh she has four nails in her tire four how does that happen I don't know but we're just gonna patch them up. Discount tire wouldn't do that shit because of liability. They can't do more than two. We take it. We take it to our Mexicano friends, and they'll patch that shit right up for the low. Let me see. How'd you get four nails in your tire? You really want me to answer that? How? Going through your ghetto ass street, bro. My street ain't ghetto. Yeah, there was a high speed chase going through there last night, but it ain't ghetto. <laughs> So we're gonna get that patched up and we'll be on the road. All right, we are here. 
and Maritza's casa eating dinner. Got my laptop there. Just drafted up the lease for the tenant that's going to be moving in. Um, spending the night here. We currently don't live together. Why are you going to tell people that? Well, it's obvious. I am, I'm, I'm in my spot when I record and we're in your spot. So we obviously don't live together, but gonna be fixing that very soon. Now we're just gonna kick yeah. back. We got our work done today. Most of it, the work, the work never ends. We still got a lot more to do, but we're gonna end the night and just kick back and watch a movie. Alright, it's 5.30 a.m. I thought I was going to be able to just go to work from here, but nope. Two cars got booked for this morning. So I got to go back home to my place and wash both cars and get them ready before I go to work. And I start at 7, so I had to get up extra early today just to get this done. But it's the life. Fucking tired. Okay, scratch that. I just got in the car and checked my phone and another car was booked for this morning. So I have to wash three cars right now before going to work. And <laughs> I don't even know if I have enough time. I'm going to be late. <sighs> Damn. dropped off at work by an uber because now all my cars are gone um so yeah now we begin the work day at 7 a.m after we did all that all right we are off from the day job and we are on our way to the gym right now to get a nice push day in uh we're in the audi currently it was brought back today so don't have to uber it <laughs> Uh, it's always, it's. I don't mind Ubering because that means all of the cars are booked and I'm making money. So whatever. I only go to two places, work and the gym. And I have a gym in my complex. So I only have to Uber to work if I need to. Um, but yeah, so people see the cars, touring, looks all good, drive cool cars. You only see that aspect of it. But in reality, it is such a huge commitment and it is quite stressful to say the least to anybody who's thinking of doing this like yeah it sounds it sounds good you know get a car put it on Turo and have it booked and paid for itself like yeah it sounds good in theory I know it is a lot of work so like like you just saw I'll be I'll be washing cars before work at 6 a.m. if I need to and sometimes after work at 11 p.m. and sometimes you'll be at work and somebody will book it at, you got to figure out a way to get the car to them where it's going to hurt your um it's going to hurt your the algorithm in your listing so it's 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 tougher than it seems you know the concept is simple but it's it's more work than it appears to be and then also you got to think if the car does not get rented enough for the month which that does happen and it happens pretty often actually you are liable for that car payment. It still has to get made. The bank doesn't care that it didn't get rented. So that's on you. So only do it if you have the means and income to cover that if it doesn't get rented. So when I got all these cars, you know, I didn't consider all of that. I didn't consider all of that. I just got, I got a little carried away. I started with this car, the Audi. The main reason why I started Turo was just to get a nice car and have it pay for itself so i started with this baby right here the rs5 i i loved this car i got it and it started getting booked like crazy so then i had another one then it started getting booked and i had another one and i got a little carried away and i expanded too fast um but hey once you do it like you gotta live with it you gotta figure it out so so i said my life is basically always putting out fires because that's a problem that i have frequently is when i have an idea i go all in and i try to scale it as fast as possible and sometimes i buy it off more than i can chew but i figure it out because that's what you got to do so it's all good right now we're trying at this point i'm trying to figure out how to optimize profits and lower costs so we can have some money coming in actually yeah because there's quite 
a bit of months where they're not multiple cars are not booked enough to to pay for themselves so I have to pay them so it's some it's some big car payments some big car payments happening but luckily I mean the past the past few months December through February have been slow so slow because of the holidays so those have been on my ass but we're picking up this month has been crazy in the bookings but what's crazy of me is even with all that stress and headache and I still want to keep doing it and I still want to add cars like I want to add another one and I want to scale the business even more but first like I have not been scared away from it even after all of this because I just love cars and if I could the whole point of whatever it is you do is find what you love and find a way to make money out of it that's the main thing I have an addiction I have a sickness honestly I have multiple car gurus apps open on my browser and uh, I want to add another car I just need to optimize the business first because I know there is money to be made there people do it people have done it there is money there's a market for it it's just optimizing the business so we're gonna figure that out and we're gonna add to the collection because I just I love it all right we are here at the gym and I finally got this thing to work two times were fails and I figured it out the last time I was here it's not that I forgot to turn it on because I'm not that dumb it's because the cord that connects to the camera wasn't receiving or whatever wasn't working the cord so I changed the cord and now the audio is working um, but check it out I'm wearing uh, this was a sample from the brand it was a mock-up that we almost made it's a oversized French Terry heavyweight cutoff um, the raw cut had the big original logo the one I have tattooed behind my ear but didn't decide to make it because went to decided to go like a more minimalist route with the brand um, but yeah, today we're going to be hitting the shoulders and back workout. We only got like four exercises to do. Uh, see, the way I work out is I focus a lot on building strength and uh, not necessarily a, much, a lot of volume. We're focusing more on heavy weight rather than a lot of repetitions. And it's been working for me for the past four or five years. So I like this training style because I'm only in the gym three times per week, like an hour at a time, and just really trying to capitalize on every workout. Um, because yeah the gym's fun and all but once you be, be, become very busy and you start pursuing other things and your schedule is just hectic those three times per week are clutch so I've been able to folk doing this style of workout I've been able to really increase my strength uh, which is nice because when you're lean and because um, when you're lean and you don't weigh that much and you're putting up big weight it not only feels good you like you not only look good but it feels good as well like looking good is only one part of it but when you're capable and you're strong that's it's it's a better feeling so like right now we got 145 on the bar um, right now my body weights like 160 so this is almost body weight and we're gonna go for four to six reps on this mind you my diet my diet hasn't been dialed in so that's something I need to work on I'm not getting enough calories but Let's attempt this. Up. Let's go. One more. God damn! Uh, fuck! Uh, oh my gosh! Oh, we almost got that sixth rep. That sucks. That just means we have to do the same way next week. Yeah, five reps though. That's not bad. <coughs> All right, we had a solid lift. Felt good. Weight was moving. Uh, but now we're gonna. We gotta go to the job. It's Friday. Pick up our check like a fucking wagey. But sorry, it won't be long till 
we're out of that lifestyle. Not if I can help it. What's up, you guys? It is a new day. They're taking out the trash at my complex right now, so it's super loud. Hopefully, you can hear me. But we just got the Jeep back from a trip. And what is that one saying? When it rains, it pours. I didn't even get a chance to be into a new video yet. This is still in the same video as the Beamer earlier, but this was quite possibly my worst experience with a renter by far. My poor Jeep, she didn't deserve to go through all that. So let's start with the first thing. They brought back the Jeep with a cracked windshield. So the windshield was cracked. Um, so the dude had multiple reviews. Well, I didn't see how many, I saw two until I went deeper and saw the rest of his reviews for smoking in the car. I gave him the benefit of the doubt. I told him, don't smoke in my car. I saw your other reviews. He's like, don't worry, I'm not gonna do it. Brought the Jeep smelling, brought it back smelling like a fucking ashtray. And the, and the seats are cloth, so it is super hard to get the smoke smell out of there. I mean, luckily Turo has $150 smoking violation fee. So I went and submitted that. Um, also, this dude drove a thousand miles over the limit he was granted, which was a thousand miles. So he drove over 2000 miles in the span of five days. What, why were you driving that much? And I have a tracker. So I looked at the trip history. He drove to San Antonio, then back to Dallas, then to Houston, then back to Dallas. Why, why wouldn't you go from San Antonio to Houston? It's so close to each other. Anyways, got charged for the extra miles on those. Whatever, it's part of the business. Can't tell people where to drive if they're gonna just pay the charge. Um, so all of that, but then to top it off, took the truck bed liner out of the Jeep. Why? So my truck bed liner is missing. Um, yeah, two cars issues on the past two trips, and it's just it's just annoying to deal with. But that's business. There's always gonna be problems no matter what field you're in. So we, we just gotta deal with them. But I'm gonna reassess my Turo protection plan. With shit happening on these trips, I need to reassess because then I can go through in Turo's insurance claim and use them, have a lower deductible, and get my shit fixed. But, huh, fun. All right, I am done, yo. Somebody put a hex on me or something because we got the Beamer back from its trip and <laughs> oh my gosh they brought it back with a different rear wheel what the fuck is this what is this these are the oem so i reached out to the to the guest and they told me that they spun out and they hydroplane they hydroplane and then they spun out because it was rainy um and then they f they fucked up they, they hit the curb or something but i'm glad there's no body damage the messed up wheels in the trunk and it's it's done can't repair that but yeah they fucking spun out because they were probably well they were i can monitor it they were driving fast as fuck and um yeah like i said when it rains it pours it's just back to back to back shit happening all these trips and it happened at the worst time when i increase the deductible to keep more of my earnings. So now I, I lowered it back down, my earnings, so I can have a lower deductible because this is, this is fucking annoying. And then to try to hunt them down to get it paid for, that's another thing in itself because if they refuse to pay, Turo won't do anything, you gotta go out of your way and fucking take them to court and all that bullshit. And nobody wants to put up with that. Luckily, luckily, this customer, they paid. They paid for a new will. I found one. Um, and uh, all squared away so thank thank god for that one I still got to deal with the other two issues with those guests who are uncooperative so, so but yeah I think I'm just going to end the video here before anything else happens so hopefully in the next one there is some good news and some positive things happening um, but yeah thank you guys for watching please like comment and subscribe and I will catch you in the next one crown yourself